Hey everybody, we're back here at this stable again. I think we've started off three different episodes here. There's just been so much to do in the Aqua region, but we are finally leaving this place. That's right. I do kind of want to explore up in this area since I haven't really yet, but I think I'll do that another time. I want to start heading down, uh, we'll probably warp over to here and see if we can maybe get to, uh, Eventide Island over here. But I did actually off screen take a picture of that Octorock Lake thing that we needed right here, yeah. As you can see, kind of looks like an Octorock, and uh, it was raining. I just so happened to pass by it while I was uh, grinding it for materials, so I have it, pal. Put up a picture, here we are. What, did you make me a picture of Octorock Lake in the shape of an Octorock? Can I see it? Yep, I sure got it for you, as my pro pad just <laughs> clips through the entire freaking, uh, Whoa desk. Aha! This is exactly the picture I asked for! This would really liven up the look around here. Is it okay if I paint a copy? Go ahead. Ah. Thank you! I have to say, the lake really does look like a big monster. Ah. The best way to fight monsters is with your own monsters, right? Yeah, I just know this painting is going to protect us. Now, just give me a moment to whip up a reproduction. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm quite good at this, I promise. I went to art school. <laughs> and? Ooh. Huh. Dude, there are so many of these like little construction sound effects. You can barely see it, bro. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I knew it. It's perfect for this table, and it's all thanks to you, Link. Aha! This is just right. Now we'll have a monster of our own to protect us. I tell you, I could paint pictures of Octorok Lake looking like a monster all day. So, if you have an image uh, of the lake that you like better, bring it by and I'll use it as inspiration for a new painting. Show my appreciation of giving you one pony point. That's it, bro? That's it? Ah, eh, whatever. Oh, and yes, please take this, too. This dish is a staple specialty. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you for the truly splendid picture. Please feel free to use a stable whenever you want. Yeah, okay. Well, cool. I guess that's a thing that we did. And, uh, yeah, you can, <laughs> you can even see the freaking, uh... Oh, gosh. Next time, now that I know this is a thing, I'm gonna, like, throw, like, a weapon out there or something. I'll throw, like, a stupid thing. I don't know. But, yeah, this is awful, dude. You can barely see it. Oh, you can barely see it. That's that's truly awful. But it was in the freaking, uh, oh, nice. <laughs> it was in the freaking rain. So now I think it's finally time to head on over to the Farron region, starting with Eventide Island. Let's freaking move. There's our destination. And it looks a little different, does it? No, it looks smaller. Hmm. Well, whatever, maybe it's just because we're far away. Anywho. Let's go! We'll take a boat! Oh man, Farron region. This is the this is always the area that I used to go first uh, to in my Breath of the Wild playthroughs. I'd always like obviously do the tutorial, go straight to Kakariko Village, um, go to Hateno Village to get the uh, camera unlocked, and then I would always head out toward the Farron region. That's just that's just how I did it, right? That's just how I loved doing it. Uh, that used to be uh, a quest with Cass, I'm pretty sure over there. Rip, Ripperoni to Cass. Uh, let's see here. Where do we just start going from here? I suppose. Yeah, I don't see why not. Hmm. We gotta, we gotta start keeping our eye out for. Oh, here we go. Crab. Hello. Razor claw crab. Yay! Where do you think you're going? <laughs> That's an awful picture, but whatever. Come here, pal. Yeah, there we go. Gives me that attack boost. I want to be sneaky for this as well because I know there's a. Uh, Lots of beetles that like to sit on these trees. If I'm not seeing any quite yet. This looks like a Korok pointing in this direction. And it's also pointing in this direction. So would it be this tree or the boat? I'm gonna take a guess and say that it's this tree. Do we have a Korok up here? Yes, we do. Hey, buddy. Thanks for the little arrows pointing to you. Did you build those? Was that you? <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I didn't even, <laughs> I was supposed to take a picture, but I didn't even like really think about it. Uh, boop! Hey, crab. Aw, so cute. I love the little crabs. Well, we're getting some more, uh, creatures here. Now we gotta keep our eye out for, here we go, some fishies. Hi, fishies. Oh, you look so default. That's perfect. You only look like that bra fish image. <laughs> Don't get spooked by that, please. I'm just trying to take a picture of you. Here we go. All right, that's a pretty awful picture, but we got it registered. Let's go! How is that Octrock not notice me? What the... Oh, they can melt? Really? Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. Notice me, Octorok. Okay, not the Lizal. Not the Lizzle. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, perfect, perfectly circular shaped. Looks like we got uh, remnants of a boat here. Okay, well, we could uh, build our own or I could use my uh, good old fashioned 
Uh, auto build? What the? Oh, to whoever finds this letter, you gotta help me out! I was fishing, or I was out fishing when I got caught in a storm and had to run into a nearby cave to take shelter. Just when I was starting to dry off, this big rock came down and trapped me in here. I've managed to get some bright bloom seeds through a gap and into the water as a sort of marker. If I'm lucky, the seeds will blossom and the tide will take this letter and the flowers to shore. So if you're reading this, it must have worked. So whoever you are, I've got a favor to ask. Could you follow the trail of bright blooms back to this cave and get me out of here? It'd be a real help. Bright blooms, huh? Uh, hmm, a bottled cry for help. Well, okay, well I can't, I can't pick it up. It's stuck there. I'm also gonna take a commemorative photo with the wooden mop and the bottle. Hey, bottle. <laughs> All right, uh, what else do we got here? Dragon bone, interesting. Okay, where the heck are the bright blooms though? Oh, the boat ore! Hey, I missed the boat ore. Aw, hey boat ore, I missed you. <laughs> uh, is it still trash? Oh, it's much worse. I think it used to be like nine or something. Now it's four. Oh wait, I see. Oh, oh, I see them now, I see them now. Yeah, okay. A cave, huh? They must be on eventide. And remember Korok leaf boats? Those were the days. <laughs> All right, this is the SS dip. Oh, it's so garbage. Oh, it's so bad. It can't even it can't even move. It's so bad. <laughs> All right, we need some extra wood. Nadra, what are you doing here? Oh, do I really want to bother? Eh, I will. You know what? I will. It only takes a minute, you know. Uh, boop. There we are. I tried to catch it in there, but I missed. But we got the scale. Let's go. Hmm. My ship landed here. Can I control it and fly from here? Oh. I can, that's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right, this should float. This should float, yeah. Really? Maybe I need to get it out a little farther. Come on, float. It kind of floats. <laughs> it's good enough, it's good enough. Oh, you know, blue lizzles are pretty rare nowadays. Let's see, try to spit. Uh, yeah, there we go, that's a good picture. <laughs> I knew I haven't taken a picture of one yet. Now don't break my boat, stupid. Oh, wait, it's gonna take another one. Uh, uh, no. All right, that is, that's all my freaking stuff that I got. Let's move, SS dip. Here we go, follow the bright blooms. Follow the bright blooms. Can I pick them up? Probably not. I can crash into them. <laughs> Bonk. Huh, dude, there's, wait, whoa. Whoa, are there currents? Wait, are there different moving currents? No way. I think there are. Whoa. Wait, wait, is that really a thing? I don't think there were different moving currents last, am I just like, I could totally just be tripping. Now it just looks like it's flat. I feel like the current is just kind of strong. Okay, is that it right there? Or is it, no, it's over here I think, cause it keeps going. No, look at that, see there's definitely current. Oh, all the currents bringing it down this way. Oh, that's cool, that's so cool. Yeah, because the current moves all the bright blooms back to the shore. That's what it's supposed to be. That's cool. Wait, you can, they're like actually actively, yo. That's so cool. They like keep on coming. I thought they were just like in set positions, but no. Dude, this, where even is this person? What the heck? <laughs> I need to visit all the other islands that I'm passing by, but I want to rescue this person first. The cave must be over here. Because that, that thing is floating out. Moving from over there. Okay, that must be it. Yeah, that must be the cave. Hello, discovery, woo, we made it. Mopla Point Cave. Well, this was quite an adventure to find. Oh boy. <laughs> we, we traveled a far ways to get here. No joke. Oh, we got some treasure under here. Let's see. Eh. Okay, that's actually, that's actually not bad. I don't know why I went eh. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> Typically we get like, very mediocre uh, stuff in there, but whatever. All right, time to, uh, I guess, use that boulder from earlier. You know, I actually haven't tried something. Can we fuse treasure chests to our uh, items? Let's see. Okay, you can't. I, I just wanted to see, you know? Hadn't yet give it a try. This is actually a good spot to mine. There's two rare deposits. That's good. Usually there's only like one rare deposit in a cave, but this one has two. And not to mention lots of regular ones too. And there's even a hearty truffle too. So yeah, this cave is kind of loaded. Now that must have been the rock. Three rare deposits? No way. Oh, it can't be. Hi. What's up, buddy? 
Oh, who are you? You know what? I don't care. If you're here, then I'm saved. Oh, I've been stuck in here for ages. Did you find my message in a bottle and come to rescue me? I sure did. It really worked. I knew it was a long shot, but it was worth it. After what went down in Lurland Village, I couldn't exactly refresh my stock of fish, so I went out to try and catch my own. That's when a storm kicked up. I tried to shelter in this cave, but got shut in. Aww. Yeah, things are looking pretty bad for a while, but look at me now. That bottle really turned things around. Also, just realized that's a big, hearty truffle back there. Delicious. And also quite rare. I don't know if we've... Have we got... I think we have got one. Uh, if this lucky street keeps up, it's got to bode well for business. Here, this is for you. I picked it up off the ground here in the, in the cave. That sounded better in my head. It's a nice reward, honest. I was planning to take it home with me once I got out. You just found that in here? Okay. Huh. I really owe you. A little reward's the least I can do. Yeah. Well? Mm. Alright, I'm out of here. If our paths ever do cross again, you should buy some fish off me. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, this isn't the time to play the peddler, huh? Anyway, thanks again, and so long. Yeah, so long indeed, pal. Well, there we go. Bottled cry for help. That was fun. That was a fun little side quest. Now, have we taken a picture of a big hearty truffle yet? I don't know. I want to say that we have. Yeah, this one's actually better. <laughs> okay, so we've seen one before. I think it was a long time ago, but yeah, dude, three rare deposits in this one cave. That's not bad. Although, I have yet to find the... Ooh, it keeps going. I see. Okay, I didn't know there was something above me, but thank goodness uh, I realized that we hadn't got the frog yet. Aha, there you are. Found ya. Boop. <laughs> With the Zonite bow, too. There we go. Come here, pal. Woo, bubble gem! Yeah, so this top side is literally just for the frog because everything else here in here is just bright blooms. Yep, after searching the perimeter, I can confirm it was just literally bright bloom seeds and one ore deposit. Kinda mid, but can we ascend from here? Because I keep hearing that a shrine is nearby. I think I saw on the way in. Oh, on the still lag tight, dude? What the heck? Ooh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that is very beautiful. All right, the shrine was, I believe, right over here. Where exactly did I see this thing? I think it may have been a little further out over here. We got Koroks. Hey, Korok. I say Koroks, but whatever. And then we just, uh, what do we do with this one again? I think it's supposed to attach to something heavy, but there's not really anything heavy here. My one idea is what if I create an ice platform and attach it to said ice platform? Would that work? Uh, nope. What if I don't need to? What if I just... Do this. <laughs> it worked! It worked! <laughs> the rocket worked! Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> is that what it was? If so, that's uh pretty far away. I don't think this was the shrine that uh, the Shrine of Light was calling to, or was, was recognizing, I suppose, but we'll, we'll grab this one over here. Why not? Actually, if I remember correctly, I think there was a side quest over here. There used to be a shrine quest right over here. Yeah, because I think this is where there was a cave and you would farm like wild berries in here or something. Hmm. Right? Or is this in a different location? Hmm. Well, whatever. Oh, there's a bloopy though. Oh, there must be a cave nearby. Maybe that's it right there. Okay, well, let's do the shrine first. Then we'll go take a look at the cave. Let's see what this shrine's all about. Jailbreak. Hmm. Okay. Well, what do we gotta do? Oh, is this, am I in jail? And I have to get up? Well, I can't climb up, but I can ascend up. Let's see here. I do this, I can ascend up there. Hmm. I suppose I could then jump onto this platform, ascend up to this one here. I can't reach it. I guess it won't matter. I can adjust it from here. Okay, this is actually not, to, not so bad. This is an ascend base shrine, I see. Here we are. And I can't ascend up this, but I jump over here, and then I can uh, ascend up this after moving it over. Here we are. Yes, ascend up through this, and then I ascend up through this. That can't be it though, there's gotta be more than that, right? I already see the treasure, so that's a big yep. Okay, well let's snag the treasure first before anything else. This is actually pretty free, it's just <laughs> literally sitting right here. Uh, and then... Looks like I have to do something here. Uh, it's gonna be a magic staff again, bro? Mm. Well, that's okay. At least this time I actually have like garbage weapons to get rid of. Is that the only treasure? It is indeed very nice. Now, let's see here. Well, I suppose I have to send up that. 
and I have to move this in a way where it won't fall off when I try to stand on it. That'll do. Yeah. Yep, that works. Okay, that was actually even easier than the first part. Ooh, wait, I'm still in jail, no! Jail bur Am I soft locked? Did I actually just soft lock myself? Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, I was about to be like, are you serious, bro? I was like, there's no way. <laughs> okay, so if I just rest this thing on a corner, yeah, that's a, well, maybe a little more. Uh, that's a free ascend right there. Okay, that, that was cool. We were like actually like in a little mini jail cell. <laughs> that's neat, that's neat. I like the, I like this one's creativity. This is neat. Alrighty. Well, give me my light blessing. That one was fun, that one was fun. At the ending there, I was like, uh, are we serious? <laughs> I was worried because like sometimes, you know how you can like go up and ascend, but like you can press B to go back down. I thought I was like, maybe supposed to look around or something, but thank goodness there was uh, something there. Loopy is going to run up this way, yep. That does look like the cave up there. Let's grab all these uh, good old rupees. Let's see. What does this cave have for us here? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yikes. Walnut. Wal Walnut. Mountain cave. Okay, this is uh, a big one. And it looks like it might have uh, Misko's treasures thanks to these thingies. Oh yes, another rare ore deposit. Dude, there's so, there's so many rare ore deposits recently. I love it. No diamonds yet, but still, I love it. Uh-oh. I think they spotted me. You know what that means? Bablamo! <laughs> Gotta disrupt the peace! Disrupt the peace! You good, buddy? <laughs> uh, so stupid. Okay, careful. Uh, ooh! Okay, you're dead. That flurry rush killed you! Boop, 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 boop! Yep. Stop attacking. <laughs> I literally gotta stop attacking early to save my durability, dude. It's crazy. Okay, got all the stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's just farm up uh, the rest of the materials that are chilling around here. Then we can, uh, ooh, ice keys too. Have I taken a picture of ice keys yet? I don't know. I just checked and yes, I have. So we're all good. Come on, fight me. Always good to get the uh, ice key stuff or just like elemental key stuff. Ooh, another big hearty truffle. Dude, that's two in like very short amount of time considering the fact that we haven't got one in a while. And of course, hello there ice like. I'm pretty sure there's another one of your friends down over there. I need to test something here. Do the fire one shot. Let's see. It does not, however, if I hit the core, it still doesn't. Okay, that's weird. Every other fire thing dies in like one hit to, uh, or sorry, every other ice thing dies in one hit to fire and vice versa. Strange, very strange. Upside down treasure chest is also quite strange. Another royal shield, very cool. Okay, well I see Misko's treasure in the back. Let me just replace the shield with the shield. All right, Misko's treasure. Let's see what she got in there after I melt you. <laughs> one more ought to do it. There we are. All right, let's see. I'm gonna guess ice nature's horns. Okay, bar barbarian leg wraps. Uh, that's actually kind of useless to me because I already have the uh, freaking fierce deity. However, uh, the good thing about that is that as opposed to the fierce deity outfit, I can actually upgrade it. At least I'm pretty sure you can't upgrade the uh, fierce deity. Let me check here. I don't think you uh, can. Never mind, you can upgrade it. Yep, because I already upgraded this one. But I think it costs like dragon parts to upgrade or something, so that's why I haven't upgraded it too much. And it looks like the cave still uh, keeps going, so we'll be sure to explore the rest of <laughs> That hit me. Well, we'll be sure to explore the rest of it, see what else is down here. I think, yep, there, as I was to say, I, I heard horribles. They see me. They saw me from far away, surprisingly. There we go. The fall damage almost killed him, but not quite. There we go. That'll do it. Is that another rare ore deposit I see? Yes, it is. And a default lug leg. Ew, this one's kind of chonky. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. <laughs> the exact same thing as the last one. Literally, the exact same. Even the exact same power up. <laughs> Whoa, two rare ore deposits? Okay, dude, the, the, the freaking ice caves are crazy. Why is it that Elden has less rare ore deposits than the ice caves? That's kind of weird. As for their hideout's treasure, oh, I'm about to get <laughs> thrown something at. It's just a weapon, of course. Uh, that literally hit me. I don't know why that didn't hit, or why it, the game didn't think it hit me, but it hit me. There we are. All right, all the horribles are finally gone. Uh, what exactly is in here? It looks like an enemy. A moblin? Oh, that's a moblin, yep. Okay, well, I mean, I might as well melt it. Melt, darn you. How is this not hitting? <laughs> I said melt, darn you. I don't want to waste all my stuff. Uh, oh, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> I was too scared to uh, get hit by him that I just kind of stopped. 
Where are you going? Fight! What? <laughs> Fight! What are you doing? Come here! Why are you running from me? I, I I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand. Why the heck were you running from me? What about in here? Ah, treasure. Okay, something nice this time. Please be something cool. Ah, gosh dang it, dude. Looks like there's another enemy in here. I'm going back to the freaking front of the cave. Oh, that's a silver lizzle, huh? I didn't think about using the camera to identify it. I want to make sure I kill all these uh, like likes as well because the like like stones are, I don't want to say rare, but I don't have too many of the elemental ones. So if I ever need them for something in the future, oh my gosh, enough of the freaking weapons. Just give me rupees, I swear. I'm poor. <laughs> also, I just want to point out this is the fourth rare ore deposit. Oh, finally a diamond. Let's go. Fourth rare ore deposit in this one cave. Kind of nuts, right? Okay, let's do this one by one. First thing is a treasure chest. Let's see, watch it be something completely mid. Oh, giant boomerang. I don't think I've actually got that yet. Okay, I'll take that. That's at least something new and not just Royal Claymore or Royal Shield for the 50th time. This is, no, this is a blue lizzle. Yep, this should be easy. Yep, it was easy. <laughs> this one's a silver though, so we gotta be a little careful. I'm probably just gonna puff shroom spam it till it dies, yep. And big damage. Ooh, delicious. Very good damage here. Uh, I can't even, <laughs> I'm trying to hit it. <laughs> there we go. All right, well that was free. And on the other side of the cave lies, uh, nothing. Oh, I hear a Korok. Hello, little Korok. Uh-huh, I see, boop. That's it? All right, well that was easy. I like how the cave has two uh, different entrances though. That's kind of cool. Not a lot of caves have that. I did get the frog that was in there. Uh, yeah, I guess we... Oh, hi, Nadra. Um, well, guess it's time to get something from Nadra again. All right, let's see if we can actually get the fang this time. I'm gonna aim right at its mouth. Here we go. No, 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 no! Okay, come on. <laughs> All right, this has gotta be your mouth, right? This has to be a fang. If that's not a fang, I don't know what is. I don't know what is, dude. Can I grab it right there? Shot of Nature's Fang, hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, so can I ride on this yet? Um, I mean, I suppose I can, but it's kind of a, uh, is this what people meant by riding on it? Just sitting on top, Nadra? What happens if I beat it up? <laughs> um, Welp, I guess I'm on it. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, that's a geoglyph in the water, huh? Interesting. Uh, what if I tried? I tried to take a commemorative photo, but it won't let me. All right, at least the real ones know, right? <laughs> the real ones know. Uh, wait, it took a picture of the... Okay, well, whatever. I tried to get a picture of the freaking spear. Whatever, we'll do it here. This is good enough, right? <laughs> okay, well, I suppose it's uh, time to jump off and head back to uh, where we were going, which was Eventide Island, that's right. Oh. I'm here where the place that Cass was, and there's a rock on it. You know what that means? It's Korok, baby! You know, I haven't seen a single Korok that was like, throw the rock in between the rocks. I wonder if they cut all those, because people didn't like them. I think they're probably the most tedious of the Koroks, though, because like, sometimes they're pretty, a lot of them are easy, but some of them are like, pretty annoying to hit sometimes. Alrighty, we made our way back here, but this time, I'm not gonna play around this time. I'm just gonna use this, because it's faster. Before I go to Eventide, I want to check out all the little islands that I uh, was supposed to pass by. I guess starting with this right over here. Looks like there's a Korok over here. Both arrows are pointing to this rock. Surely that means there's a Korok here. Yup, here we go. If I can just get up on it. Boop. Hi, Korok. How are you, bud? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's this little piece, this little piece, this little piece. And I guess there was one over here, but we can take a look at that one later. Let's take a look at all these little pieces before we do anything else. This little piece has uh, nothing. Okay. Basically just boat materials. I am going to steal this battery though, because uh, it it'll help, I suppose. Let's see here. The second piece is a little more promising. Um, oh, a chest. Here we are. Let's see. I think that's the only thing here. I think I may have heard a Korok, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, I'll take that, you know, I'll take that. Yeah, no Koroks or anything on top, okay. Well, that looks to be all on this little island here. 
And on this dinky little island, there's a couple batteries. It looks like it's all just ship parts. Okay, I decided to check the one over here too. And of course, it is literally just ship parts. Every single little one of these little dinky islands just has ship parts. Now, I do want to come ashore here because something over here did catch my eye. This basically, just being this area actually, because we haven't explored this yet. Curious to see what we got. It's a decent amount of Aracudas. What exactly is this? This looks a little mysterious. Well, nothing in here. We can ascend up this. Oh, hey -o. Okay, it's probably gonna be something super mid because I feel like we've seen something like this before, right? Yeah, it was, dude, it was this exact same thing. Oh my gosh, I remember this. It was Zonite freaking times three. That's so bad. That is so bad. Oh well. Imagine having an entire dedicated like cool thing just for Zonite times three. Bro, like, you have this entire area dedicated to three Zonite. That is actually so sad. Like, at least the Korok, bro. Come on. Three Zonite? That's so mid. <laughs> oh, well. Let's, uh... Let's fight! Fight me! The damage is stupid, dude! It's so stupid! Yeah! <laughs> I need a lot... I was like, why am I doing so little damage? Probably because I have only one part of the uh, Fierce Deity fit on right now. I want to be sneaky, yes, in case I see any bugs or cool things. Sorry, I'm kind of just exploring around this area because we haven't yet. And it feels like there could be something around this area, but there's just really nothing so far. Then again, there was that Shrine of Light. We should try and find that. This could be something. And it's just ship parts. Is that really it? Is that really all this entire area is? It's just ship parts? Oh, Addison. Oh, what the? Bro, what the heck is this sign, buddy? What are you doing to yourself? Oh, I trapped it. I trapped the sign. Oh, there, there's no way this is falling. Surely not. Come on. Let go. This has got to be it. Uh, oh, no. I... <laughs> it was... I had it from the top, so... Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. This is one of the freaking worst signs I've ever seen, bro. I am sorry. This is so garbage, Addison. Okay, all we need is some extra weight on this side. Try that and go, please. Oh, it works. No, no. There's extra weight on this side. Come on. He's standing. Okay, it was about to fall. It was about to fall, but I do not care. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I don't think it was supposed to be that hard. I think it was actually supposed to be really easy, but whatever. Oh, man. Yeah, I probably could have just put, like, one little diagonal thing and it would have done it, but whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm extra. <laughs> and also, I'm just tired of Addison's shenanigans. Oh, muddle bud. He should literally give you, like, ten. Like, come on, bro. I can get, like, more than that in the underground. Dude, look at the abomination. <laughs> I can get more than that in the underground, like, so fast, bro. Rocket! Let's see what's on top. Oh, Korok. Hee 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 hee. Hi, friend. Yeah, ha ha. Do it. Say it now. <laughs> Yo, that one's leaf is kind of thick. Kind of makes me want some pancakes. I don't know why. I just, I'm just craving pancakes, I guess. All right. This shrine, though. We kept hearing about a shrine over this way. Where the heck is it gonna be? It's gotta be like in a cave or something. Yep, nearby down below. I see. Okay, so there's gotta be a cave near this area. Oh, Bloopy, Bloopy, that means cave. That means cave, that means cave. Here it is. I don't even care about the Bloopy. Here we go, this ought to do it. Ah, I tried to hit him. <laughs> oh dear, oh, that's silver. Deep back bay cave. Nope, 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 nope. Don't hit me. Don't hit me, you silver. All right, spooky. Puff shrimp cheese. Let's go. You're dead. Okay, not quite. Forgot these guys actually are silvers and they do have HP. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Easy, easy kills, easy kills. And there's a shrine, I see it. See you, loser. See you, loser. Okay, this is about to break, that's all right. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this just went, what the? I. Oh, hi, like, like, what's up? Okay, this appears to be a pretty uh deep cave. So I guess we'll explore, oh, that almost just killed. That almost is freaking killed. Boop. Now let me uh, open the way to this. Boop. That's probably the frog up there. Oh. Wait. What? Oh, I didn't even notice. I, I literally didn't even notice. <laughs> I fell down that hole so fast I didn't even notice. Okay. Well, neat. Uh, I guess that's a thing now. What the heck? There's so many freaking boulders down here. That's odd. Ooh. Okay, I'm actually gonna take this because I haven't had this shield in a while. I want to change it up because all we're getting is mighty zonite and whatever. All right, can we go up there? Uh, nah, that's just where the water came from. Here we are. 
And da mi mi shrine. Still never gonna feel like I'm pronouncing it right, ever. What do we got here? Retrace path. I see. Well, that makes me think of a uh, good old recall. Let's see what we got here. What does this do? Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, 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 this is easy. Oh, this is free, actually. Hold on. Watch this. We wait for it to come out. It, uh, goes. We make that go back. We say, you go back. And that, oh. Oh, no, I have to time it right. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, now it's just chilling there. Okay, I see, I see. It has to go up the ramp to get up in there. Oh, okay, that timing is actually gonna be a little strict. Uh, all right, boom, got it. So it's not gonna stay there though, that's the issue. Huh, I need to get the treasure now. <laughs> I don't think I'll have enough time, but whatever. We'll see what we can do. Got you with the treasure. I might be able to make it. Come on, please don't be a weapon. Cool, all right, I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Oh, I could definitely make that. Just run, 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 run for it. Okay, we had we even had extra time. <laughs> we had extra time to make that. That was cool. That was a cool shrine. I didn't check to make sure I got all the treasures, but I, surely that was it. That was a really simple shrine, but a pretty fun one too. So I'll take it. How many? Dude, 20? <laughs> oh, it's too many. That's too many. Oh, diamond, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, just farming up the materials that are uh, left in the cave here. Although we've still yet to uh, get to the frog. Hmm. Okay, that's where the water came in from. Does that mean, yep, there we go. There's our frog. There's our good old frog. Anything else up here? Doesn't look like it. And there's our bubble gem. Let's go. It's a bit of an odd spot to ascend, I suppose. Now let's see. Let's see, what, what have we explored? We have yet to explore the entire beach, but we've pretty much been everywhere in this one little region, except for where I wanted to go. I suppose we can uh, finish off the whole episode here by exploring this beach. You know, it's not, not gonna be too big. There's probably gonna be nothing here, but you never know. There might be a Korok or two or something, and maybe something we could take a picture of. Uh, wait, it's the giant horse. Yo, it's back. Wait, it's here. Um, well, somebody's probably gonna want that. Let's see. You know, maybe we should get it now while we can. Let's also take a picture. Hey, giant horse. How are you? I don't think I've taken a picture of a regular horse yet either. Let's see. Yep, definitely haven't. Well, well, we'll do this. Get a good old pack of horses right there. Cool. Well, uh, come here, bro. It'll be kind of fast though. Hey, 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 come here. There we go. Oh, careful now. Oh, you're so. What are you? What is happening? <laughs> ah, it's so weird. Okay. Oh gosh, looks like you're about to like fall off at every second. All right. Well. I suppose it's time to go find the nearest stable to register you at, old buddy. Uh, the issue with the giant, yeah, the issue with the giant horse, it has, uh, it has no freaking, um, whatever you want to call it. You can't dash with it, but I think it has, like, super good health. It has super, it'll probably have super good pull if we wanted to, like, pull something. Maybe we could also, hmm, I didn't think about that. Maybe with the, the horse god, we could edit it to make it have dash. I didn't actually think about that, because in Breath of the Wild it didn't, but... Maybe the horse god could help with that. But either way, this is probably gonna be useful for a side quest, maybe. It was in Breath of the Wild, so you never know. I think for now, though, we'll just go find ourselves a stable, register it at that place, and then we'll come back and go to that good old Eventide Island. We'll, we'll, we'll be back one day, Eventide. Trust me, we'll be back. <sighs> this thing is so slow. I'm pretty sure if I use my, see how I have my speed up, dude? This is gonna be such a waste of that 10 minute speed up drink, but bro. <laughs> Oh man, this horse is so slow. Oh look, a merchant. Too bad, I gotta find a stable. Where is the, where the heck is the nearest stable? What, where, 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 seriously, where the heck is the nearest stable? What the heck? Oh gosh, oh goodness me. Oh, I gotta go a long way to register this bad boy. Oh, this thing is slow as beans, bro. This thing is the slowest horse ever. Oh, this is a nightmare. Specifically has to go slow in the city. Oh, goodness. Hey, the mushrooms light up at night. I don't know if I ever really noticed that. That's kind of neat. Well, we'll be back at Hatena Village one day. I know there's a few side quests that we got to do here. No, Addison. I can't help you right now, bud. I got to get to a stable. I'm sorry. I'll help you out some other time. Dude, the nearest stable is all the way over here. Although there is probably one right here. Yeah, I actually, this used to be a stable spot. I guess we'll make our way for to that one. Jeez. 
We go down and around. I think that's the, I think that's the play. We haven't been there yet, but that's okay. I don't even think I've been in this little area yet. You know, the good thing about horses is it's very scenic when you're riding with them. It is quite scenic. I can't deny that. However, uh, they're just always on the roads. Like, the, the path that you're supposed to... Careful now. Careful now. Oh, that's a blood moon. Okay, that's just careful. Don't fall off. That is a very narrow path. Don't hit the tree, bro. Oh my gosh, horse, please. It's a blood moon. Behave yourself, horse. Horse, behave yourself. It's the blood moon, horse. Behave yourself. Yo, this horse is going crazy, dude. It does not want to listen to me. Whatever. It's a blood moon. I don't I don't mind you freaking out when it's a blood moon, horse. Or maybe this is the path. Uh, We're not exactly going the right way, but hopefully it curves around to going the right way. It doesn't. Oh, look, shock fruits. Wow, for the very first time on a plant. Too bad I can't get them because I have to take this freaking horse literally around an entire mountain just to register it. Oh, gosh. Why on earth do they have horses in that location? That sounds awful. Uh, bro, I'm literally going... I don't know, where, look at this! I'm not even going to have to go all the way around, bro. Are we serious? Oh, gosh. You know what? I think I'm gonna just get to a different stable at this point. There's probably a different stable. I'm heading back to the freaking beach! I don't even know where I'm going! Are we serious? Is this actually a dead end? This is actually a dead end? Are we serious? Oh my gosh, it's a dead end. Oh, come on! Uh, why are there no stables in this area? Who puts a horse right here? Ah, oh, I guess I have to go the super, super long way. Bro, horses are literally so outdated. Why on earth would you ever ride a horse when you can just create anything with auto build and like flying machines? Why on earth did you ever use a horse? The only reason I'm doing this is probably because it'll help for a side quest later. Bro, I've looped back to freaking Addison. Are we serious? All because I wanted to take a shortcut. I'm back to freaking Addison again. Oh my gosh. I would help him out, but I don't want my horse to despawn. Oh, that's cool. You can hear the freaking theme. What the... All right, that was the first time I've ever had that happen. <laughs> oh gosh, well, it wasn't actually, but when, it, when I'm just riding on a freaking horse, yes it is. All right, out of my way, bro. Out of my way. No, 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 please. Horse, I so horse! My horse is gonna die, it's gonna die, it's gonna freaking die. Why? I have to take out these monsters, don't I? I actually have to take these monsters out if I want to save this horse. Jump off the horse. Oh, dear, I don't have things ready. That's fine. No, horse, yeah, get moving, horse. Get moving, I'll protect you. Gosh, what? Is this a thing? Is this a- I think this must be a side quest or something. No. You know what? Fine. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'll fight. You want me to fight? Stupid monsters, I'll fight. Let's do this. Just don't hurt my stupid horse. If that horse runs off, bro, it's- Nah, I can't- I can't- I have to- I have to leave. Nah, see, the horse is gonna run away. I can't take this risk. It's gonna run. I ha- I have to get it now. I have to get this horse. Come back, horse, please. Don't run away. Please, horse! Oh my gosh. Just run. You are- you are bulky. You are fat. Come on. We got this. We got this. Just run away. I can't- I would help them, right? I would, but the horse could despawn, and I'm not taking that risk. There's a freaking stable right over there, and the next episode... Oh my gosh, there's Hinoxes. Bro, get, get, how? Why is this stupid horse so hard to register? There's so many things in my way. What's next? A guardian shows up for the very first time, or the freaking hands, bro? I'll, I would lose it. Oh, here we go. Oh, we even got the musical performances. That means we can get the great fairy. Not in this episode, though. Oh, goodness. We'll do that. We'll do this in the next episode. Dueling Peak Stable. We finally made it. Talk! Oh my gosh, horse. I hate horses. I literally hate horses so much. Just go. All right, bro. Dude, these two guys have the exact same face. Rock guy, please. 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 Yes, that one. Oh, welcome to Olympic Stable. Thank you for supporting. Here's the pony point. Woo! I don't know what that was. What is it exactly? Uh, I can get my reward. Okay. Uh, yes, please. Register it. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. Yep, yeah, see? No, yeah, actually, it's 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 neutral, so it has- wait, it has no pull? It can't pull anything? Are we serious? Okay, its strength is good, though. Dang, this horse- this horse is garbage, bro. It's so bad. Well, whatever. It hopefully will be, uh, useful in a side quest, so if I ever need it, it's at every single stable, so that's good. <sighs> okay, um, what do we name this thing? I'll just name it Bruh. I'm just gonna name it Bruh. This entire horse- me finding this horse was entirely in a Bruh- it was, it was entirely a Bruh moment. Entirely. <laughs> I, was, I was supposed to end the episode 20 minutes ago, at least at the time of recording. It was probably only like five minutes for you, but whatever. Scratch that. We don't actually have any other sidles or bridles big enough for that ho for a horse that size. I don't think this steed would want me to mess with its mane either. But if you ask me, there's no need to make changes anyway. Your horse looks great without them. The drawings at the stable have gotten out of hand, haven't they? 
Sorry about that. No matter how many times I scold them, those sons of mine just don't listen. If you ask them, they'll tell you they saw some big footprints, the likes of which nobody's ever seen. I swear, I'll never stop being surprised by the things my kids can imagine. All right, please. Oh, boy. All right, there we go. Horse, we got it. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. That's going to be it. Who boy. Oh, look, it's a little thingy that they're talking about. All right. Yeah, we'll explore the stable in the next episode. I'm sure there is a whole lot of stuff that we can do. But yeah. Oh, gosh. Getting that horse is crazy. Look at that dog go. Oh, my gosh. You see that thing go? Keep going. I gave up. Whatever. All right. Well, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all in the next episode. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.